Hey everybody, this is Mark from Back of Mobile, and as promised, this is another video in our segment on BlackBerry, this one featuring BlackBerry DTEC. So this feature is available on both the BlackBerry Priv and the new BlackBerry DTEC 50, hence that device where it really derives its name from. So let's just jump in. We're going to take a look at the application, show you how it works, and how it sort of, I guess, falls into the security platform and suite that BlackBerry is positioning their devices to be on. So, my priv is a little tricked out. I'm just going to double tap, go into my apps, and if any of you like the way I've customized this, you're more than welcome to leave some comments in the uh, down below. So we're going to fire up DTEC by BlackBerry. I've got another app. You can always ask about that one as well. That just locks everything on a per app basis in your Droid. So, DTEC and how it works. This is your dashboard. This tells you how to secure your device is. Initially when you set up the device, well, it may not be that secure. Oh, fair. And all we've done there is set up a passcode protection and location uh, unlock on the DTEC 50. So, let's jump into it. DTEC by BlackBerry. If you touch your menu, settings, what can you do in here? Well, you can set notifications, event logging, you can clear your event history. Obviously, you have your other sort of, I guess you'd say, redundant type things, the licensing agreement, the open source license, and your version. When we pop out of settings, and we're actually in the app, this is where you get to the nitty gritty. What is it actually doing? How does it derive that rating? So, first thing we'll do is we'll pop into apps and permissions. In here, these are all your apps installed. On my device, I do a lot of customization. I have games. So let's take a look at the first one. If we take a look at the app, it'll tell you, well, this app, you know, it has a permission to see from the last seven days. It has access to storage. Hasn't tracked the usage on that permission-wise, just storage. From there, it takes you actually, this is in Marshmallow, and this is actually the toggle to actually lock or unlock that specific permission. So we're going to go back. It's nice how it sort of leads right into the operating system. Let's take another app, for example, AccuWeather. It's always fun. This tracks your location. In this case, DTEC is tracked that it's in four events. Um, storage, not tracked. And then let's take a quick look. There's your toggles in your operating system. So again, very easy to navigate, very easy to use. If we go into permissions, here's everything that's tracked in DTEC from all the apps which pretty much looks like most of the things on your phone, from your camera to your contacts to your location. There's always a rule of thumb when you're installing anything, especially a side load. Always look and see what apps and permissions the, or sorry, what permissions the application is asking for. There should be no reason why a simple live wallpaper or background should require access to everything like this on your phone. Always a first. So please monitor what you install into your device. So. Those are your apps and permissions. Data encryption. Go into the tab. You can always read all the information. But this talks about what's encrypted on your device. In this case, you can see on this priv, the device is encrypted, and we set a security lock. A screen lock, rather. Sorry. Developer options. On this device, I haven't enabled any of them. Device hardware and here's a full range we'll slowly go through it so you can see the shield icon with the check mark factory data protection or reset protection device hardware we'll slowly we'll just go into each of these and you can see on this particular device what's enabled we're using a blackberry phone factory reset protection so we've got a google account and again you can enable things in your Google preferences, um, you know, um, two-step authentication, et cetera, et cetera. So again, you can take some steps even outside of this to protect your Android device. The operating system, it's running Android, designed for the BlackBerry. So this, um, you know, I, I'm not a big rooting fan, not anymore anyway. So this unit's stock. One day I'll have to look and see if... Um, there is an option to unlock the bootloader and root, but right now, 
not something that's done on this one. Operating system integrity, it's verified. So again, this one's not rooted. Remote management. In this case, I'm not running anything to remotely access the device. Screen lock. So as you can see here, we use a pin. It's verified. It's a strong, I mean, I guess as strong as a four-digit pin code could be. Keep in mind, like I mentioned in my last video or demonstrated, I do use location unlock. I find it's a really big convenient feature. Also takes away from some of the security it, while you're at that location, so everything comes with a cost. Um, your device is set to download apps from the Play Store. There's always things that we may or may not sideload. As I've mentioned, just be cautious when you do that. So this is Detect by BlackBerry, just a quick overview. Very easy to use. Just simply click and go. And the, um, you know, the security meter is evident as soon as the splash page loads. If you have any questions about this application, if there's anything you'd like to see, please drop us a comment in, below. Uh, feel free to email us. Feel free to, free to tweet us. Feel free to message us on Facebook. That will all be below. Have a great day.